partners, this week's honoree brought entertainment to millions of Americans during the Second World War. Oh, you're going to love this. Lindley Armstrong. Uh, you don't know him? Well, you will. This week's honoree was really a talented child. Everything he did had to be just right, and he wanted everybody else to be the same way. He was born just before Christmas in 1911. His dad worked for the Southern Pacific Railroad as a ticket agent. Young Lindley Armstrong liked to hang around the railroad stations. You see, the big chug, 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 chug of the steam engines meant so much to him because he felt that rhythm was the basis for his love of music. As a teenager, he played in bands that he formed himself. Yeah, he did his own band forming, and in one of the first was called the Five Tax. Young Lindley Armstrong was a drummer. He learned to play the drums banging on the pots and pans in the back of the railroad station's restaurant. Can you imagine this? Interested in playing drums by banging on some pots and pans in a restaurant. Well, in 1930, he got a big break, and the new drummer in the famous Victor Young Orchestra was Young Lindley. Yes, he took over. He appeared with the band on the Kraft Music Hall, hosted by the biggest star of the time, none other than Bing Crosby. Yes, partners, amid all this, our young drummer got bored. He hated that kind of music. He wanted to play something that was hotter. He didn't like that soft music. One night he wandered into a nightclub and the music there was hot, just exactly the way little Lindley wanted to play. Lindley asked if he could sit in with the band and the leader said, uh, can, can, can you play drums? He said, play drums? Does a bear live in the woods? That was his answer, man. Can I play? Yes. Within a month, the band leader quit, and little honoree took over the whole band. Now we're beginning to cook. Yes, that's right. Word quickly got around about this new hot band that was playing old, familiar songs in a brand new way. RCA offered his band a contract. Partners, listen to this. Overnight, our honoree and his orchestra records were being played on radio stations everywhere. Lindley began making guest appearances with other bands. Yeah, they liked the way he played drums and Bing Crosby's classic recording of White Christmas has old Lindley, or young old Lindley, playing drums in the background. Lindley forced his bands to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. They were sick of it. He said, wait a minute. He was a world-class perfectionist. I said in the beginning he wanted everybody to be like him. They recorded some of the most unusual songs of the time. Lindley was the American patriot in the World War II who fought not with a gun, but with a baton and some great music. So the next time you hear Cocktails for Two, uh, My Old Flame, The Fuhrer, In the Fuhrer's Face, well, you'll laugh and laugh and just remember that that music is coming from a band called The City Slickers <laughs> under the name and direction of Lindley Armstrong. Spike! Spike, yeah, Spike Jones music. You remember this is the musicians that played well because of the intense concentration and endless rehearsals. His band said, "Oh, you're, I can't, we can't take it." But he said, "No, keep going." He was more than funny. His band was intricate and complicated, but it got us through the war. Yes, part as it cheered up a nation that was sick of war. So a salute to the old taskmaster, Lindley Armstrong, known as Spike Jones. Yeah, the American patriot who used music to help unite the country and who literally threw it in the Fuhrer's face. 
throw song. That was Webster's favorite on our radio station. The honoree Spike remember that his dad worked for the railroad station and Lindley was just about as thin as a railroad Spike and that's why they called him Spike. Spike Jones. What a story. I told you you'd know who he was. Okay, partners, you know the drill. Find that big old red X up there and click the top and you'll be magically transported right back here to our report page. Golly, I love this story. No wonder Dennis said, you wait and see who the guy is. You remember I said, go get him, Tiger? Well, there's something else I always love to say, and that is this. No, well, no, let me see. I love you. I love you. That's it. Let's do it that way. Now, here it is. Go get them, Tigers! Tigers! <laughs>